Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video. Today, we are going to be talking about Ronzo Warrior Kamari and also two New Vision Awakenings. One of them was not surprising. The other one is a little surprising because I thought uh, Poppy being on this one is a little strange, but she's here. She's becoming New Vision Awakening and uh, she's quite valuable. So, let's talk about Kamari. He surprisingly didn't get any buffs at all. I thought that he might get a little bit here and there, but through my calculations, I believe he is the strongest Dragoon now, but he's, he does need uh, Ricard's STMR and Vision card. He also needs his own STMR to get to there. So you get all the modifier jumping buffs and everything like that. So if you are interested in the strongest Dragoon, this might be it for you guys. Um, but in the meantime, I've got Past Deus on the line. He's going to tell us a little bit about Amazon and Amazon Coins, my sponsor. And also a little bit about a live stream that includes the culmination of the Clash of Communities 2022 and the results of the poll and all things like that. So hope you guys enjoyed the artwork that they presented in that Discord and um, that live stream will be telling you all about it. So I'm going to take it away to pass the for a quick moment here. So I'm going to be here delivering some information involving the Final Fantasy Universe and Clash of Communities 2022 information and a sponsorship from Amazon. Yes, I'm being sponsored by Amazon. It's, it's surprising, right? I didn't think I'd ever be sponsored ever. So, very quickly, let's get into it. So, the Clash Communities is going to be coming yet again. If you remember, last time you voted for um, special things like um, who's, which uh, side you were on. For example, I think last time was War of the Visions or Final Fantasy Brave is who wins and stuff like that. But this time it's going to be a little different. But, firstly, there is going to be a 3% off Amazon coins back uh, on select in-game purchases and here are the in-game purchases and pay attention to those dates. Um, all the information is going to be linked down below in the description and also pinned comments for you guys. So, and you get the offer. First, you got to download the Amazon App Store version of Final Fantasy Brave Exodus or World the Visions Final Fantasy Brave Exodus on your Android or Amazon compatible device. If you're already playing on a different store, make sure you click on that um, nicely colored click here for instruction button to figure out how to do that to get to the Amazon App Store and Then you launch the Amazon App Store on your um, version of Final Fantasy Brave Exodus or the visions and link your account You're ready to start saving Making in game purchases on anything that is listed here for those dates and you will be able to receive 3% Amazon coins back on your purchase and if you need more Amazon coins, you'll save up to 20% off in on apps and in-game purchases using Amazon Coins today and you'll be able to click on that nicely colored button right there to find out what packs you can buy. And they'll be able to also click on here to find out the terms and conditions and offers above. And like I said before, the, the offer will be available uh, to, if you click on the description or in the pinned comment, uh, those, all, those, all the information will be down below. So let's talk about the Creator Clash. Make sure you join the, the live stream on from uh, on a uh, orange Jay's channel on Twitch to find out who will be the winner. And the announcement of the winner will be on the tenth of the next month, which is September. And once again, this is not this, this is not global, and also War the Visions is not a sponsor of this event. This is not an official event of either side. This is all for, for all from Amazon. And that's it, guys. So if you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And all right, so, sorry about those sound. There's some sound. There was a little bit of sound issue, I believe, but other than that, I think we're okay. So make sure you guys go ahead and get into that live stream when you can. Follow Lauren J so you'll know when the live stream goes live, so you'll know all the information regarding that. Anyways, his STMR is very good for himself, and also has 100% jump damage on it, so that's quite good as well, right? 80 attack as well, so it's very good. His TMR is only really good for himself. I mean, it's it's not very good at all. It's really only good for himself, pretty much. And Unaluska, well, I already made some videos on Unaluska, so if you want to know more about her, make sure you uh, tune that in. But uh, she is uh, something else. It would have been nice for her to get a buff of some kind, because honestly, she really needed it, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Also, it says updated, but this one doesn't say updated. Beard. So is she getting a buff of some kind? I doubt it. 
but she is she is pretty valuable. Poppy is pretty valuable, guys. A rave shift form is actually pretty interesting, and also I, I just love that she sits on like a treasure chest of like paint or something. It's actually very interesting. So pretty good Neo Vision Awakening for once. I know it's crazy. And this is the raid. It's just a raid, guys. Nothing too special in here, but there is a demon killer and also is a dragon killer but those are kind of you know not very rare killers so i wouldn't go too crazy about that but it's just a raid guys as as always and there's some special things in here get some uh shards and things like that so that's actually pretty valuable and now let's go into azaro's and this is an exploration and you can get some things in here um if you'd like to get these things uh something that can, you can get some evocation damage increase and as well as you get some status effects resistances and things like that and you don't really need it you don't really need these pyramid bonuses i don't even i can't believe they even mentioned those because it's not necessary because the exploration is pretty easy uh, remember remember back in the day when the explorations were actually really interesting uh those days are long gone this is not very interesting it's pretty straightforward it won't take you very long either. So, sadly, that's the case. All right, and we have Reflacia here. I'm really actually really interested to see how fast Global can beat this because honestly, it's very annoying. I still haven't beaten it on JP because there's there's a part where at 50% he becomes insanely annoying where he heals. I think it's nine percent per turn. So if you're not dealing. A lot of damage after 50% threshold. He's just going to keep healing back to 50% over and over and over again. So I'm actually really interested to see if we can if we can beat this. Um, I'm pretty sure we can, but not in like a quick not not in the quick turns. I don't I don't think we can beat it in like a few turns like we've been doing. Uh, this this guy is just super annoying. MP drain heavy. We know that on global that is super annoying. We, we kind of know how to deal with that, but still it's super annoying. Is he's insanely MP drain heavy. Um, and things like that so it's actually a very annoying boss fight for once uh, so we'll see how that goes in the meantime uh let's move on to the next slide kamari's vision card nothing too special at all except for the second one well, actually the first one too that are not restricted i believe to anything so it's something at least since i don't think we're going to be getting lord of the light uh sadly that free unit remember that remember that free unit from a long time ago now at this point uh, his vision card would have been pretty decent because it has TTH on it as well. That's not restricted, which I, I use actually, I actually use every now and then. So that's too bad. I will be doing another live stream on the 11th. So there's that, guys. Uh, hopefully they'll improve it from the last one. I'm not saying it's, it was bad or anything. It's just that they need to imp start improving things more and more. So hopefully this will be a better one, guys. Uh, I just put this in here just to say don't pull for it. <laughs> Guys, there is way too many banners coming out that you'd like to pull, maybe pull for. Uh, why would you ever go on this? So for this one, you get guaranteed new visions, but like you could get Cloud, Aerith, Rain, Coral, Diverti. You know all those old kind of old things that you really want, don't want to see that you probably see often anyways. Why would you pull on this? There's so many other banners coming up. There's so, this is a lot of lapis wasted. So just don't do it. In the Kamari shop here, absolutely nothing special besides his shards. And maybe the Master Crown, but... And the Mr. Crystal, but that's about it, because those are really expensive. Uh, but the only thing in here really interesting for new players, if you're interested, is the shards. That's, or fragments. That's it. So, let me know in the comment section below what you think about the dr strongest Dragoon, Asterisk. You need some stuff first. But, he is very powerful, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this and all the other, other news involved. Once again, make sure you tune into the RNJ live stream as we'll be going over a lot of things involving the contest and more. I hope to see you there and hope to see you in the comment section. See you in the next video. Peace.